Welcome to 5 and 5 from the One Stop Co-op Shop, where I discuss five key elements of a game in about five minutes. I'm Michael Kelly, and today I'm looking at Everybody Lies, the new Batman-themed detective game. And a disclaimer that I was sent a review copy of this one. I like the original detective pretty well. Dune House Secrets, though, was a big miss for me. I also like Batman, just like I like Dune. How did this game pan out? Let's find out and get to the list. <laughs> First and number five, a mix is the value of the game. I always want to mention this for these sort of one-off type of games. This one has four cases, although one of them is only a prologue, so it's kind of like three and a half. And each of those is going to run you maybe an hour or an hour and a half in my experience. And the game's MSRP, from what I've seen, is the same as the original Detective, which I think had five cases. So it's a slightly worse value than that one, but it's still pretty comparable to things like the Unlock sets that have uh, three different cases or scenarios in them, or other Detective products. You know, if you can trade this one on afterwards because nothing really gets destroyed or if you can sell your used copy after you're done that's going to push its value up but uh, if you don't like these one-off games there's nothing here that's really going to change your opinion or make them seem more valuable but my number four a full-on pro is something i do not mention for these types of games because i don't know if anyone's ever done it before like this those are personal goals so in the game each of the players although you have to do two if you play solo has their own character you can be catwoman or harvey bullock or vicky vale or fourth guy who i forget and they each have their own personal introduction to the case they each have their own goal they're going for. They have uh, unique encounters that only they can see. They have a uh, unique questions that are asked at the end to see if they've solved their part of the case. And I gotta say, I really like this. It gave a bit more of direction and personality to the individual characters I was playing without feeling like it was a semi-cooperative game. You know, like we're still all working together. We were still all sharing information. You can even choose to share all of your characters' individual information with the other players. But uh, the option and kind of the greater personality of the game, I just thought this was a nice addition to the mystery game formula overall. But that brings me right into my third point, which is the Batman theme and how well they did that. And it's a bit of a mix. On the positive side, they do a nice job of dropping in Easter eggs like uh, Batman villains are mentioned, even if they aren't the main one you're trying to catch. And also a really nice visual touch. They have these little comic cards that you get for some of the key scenes while you're investigating. So you get kind of like a comic book flair to the game. And similarly in the website, you do have to use a website for this one, just like for the other Detective Series games. Uh, they sometimes have pictures of the characters you're talking to. So I think they kind of bring the world to life nicely, especially in a visual way. But at the same time, this is a heavily, heavily narrative-based uh, type of game with tons of reading, which does not really say Batman, at least to me. And also, I'm not sure people are going to be excited by the characters you play. You do see Batman on the periphery sometimes. Catwoman's pretty cool. Harvey Bullock, I remember from the Batman animated series quite a bit. He was such a jerk. Uh, Vicky Vale, I know from the first Batman Tim Burton movie. Other guy, I don't know. But they kind of feel like C-listers, <laughs> except for Catwoman. And, you know, I'm sure people might like wish they could play as, like, Night wing or just play as Batman. So that will be a bummer for some people in terms of the theme. My number two is also a mix looking at the mysteries in the game. And uh, the positive side of this is that they're pretty interesting. They do have some twists and turns. They do have some sort of red herrings. I'll say that overall they felt uh, easier than some of the earlier detective games I've played, but they are actual mysteries with actual questions, actual solutions, unlike Dune House Secrets until they added on the, uh, the errata or whatever it was. They kind of changed up the app. So yeah, overall I think these four mysteries are fun to explore. They're not going to tax your mind to an extreme extent, but you'll also feel good when you solve them, so I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And finally, my number one is the investigation choices and the mechanics of the game. This is also a mix. And these are pretty much the same mechanics you've seen in other detective games, where you've got a timer ticking down, you're choosing uh, which avenues of investigation you follow. The sort of change for this one is that you build up a communal pool of just these little clue tokens, and then you can spend them with different character abilities to gain access to different locations, which I think is kind of cool, because if you go to the same location, more than once, it becomes more expensive. So you gotta kind of think in sort of the opposite of the original detective, uh, you know, how many times do I wanna go to the underground? Which of these underground clues are most valuable to me? But on the other hand, in a way, those mechanics just feel kind of tacked on. It usually works out to you just going to as many places as you have time. Uh, the tokens are usually not that much of a limitation. So it feels like they could have probably just stripped that entire thing away, just let you go to like 12 investigatory places and the game would have worked out the same. So overall, I'm happy to say that Everybody Lies is a return to form for the Detective franchise, at least for my taste. I think it is in many ways just as good as the original Detective, and it's got the Batman theme that's done pretty well, so if you like that, it could be a big bonus for you. But if you didn't like previous games of the Detective series, or if you don't like reading a lot of text as you solve your mystery, uh, this might not work out for you. But I want to say, if you didn't like Dune House Secrets in particular, uh, this one is definitely a 
much better return to form than that one. So uh, I would give this one a chance if you're a previous fan of the series. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good gaming, and I'll see you at the next stop.